Hi right, guys, so this is the rest of my haul. Um, let's go ahead and start with this guy. Uh, this is a Beast Wars Mutants Poison Bite. Um, picked him up on a trip to Louisville. Um, I went to the toy mall and <laughs> unfortunately due to a time change and their hours not being correct online, uh, I got there with about 10 minutes before they closed. Um, so I actually didn't buy anything at the toy mall. I actually went to a different toy store and found this for, um, 17 bucks. Uh, unfortunately it is missing the head. Uh, the way it was transformed, you couldn't tell and it was in a bag. Um, so that kind of sucks, but for the price I paid, hopefully I'll be able to find a head down the road. Always looking for a little head. That's how it is. How life goes. <laughs> um... Yeah, uh, pretty cool figure, actually. Let me see if I can get him to stand here. Um, transforms from a scorpion to... I don't know what the hell the other thing's supposed to be. A barracuda or something. I don't know. I think it looks more like a whale, personally, but... You're not going to stand today, are you? Anyway, it's supposed to stand like that. And you got the little um, robot head here hiding in the stinger. Um, this guy came towards the end of the Beast Wars run. It was one of the last four figures that they made for it. Uh, it was this, uh, Razor Claw, Snowbird, and um, Soundwave. Alright, so next up, um, picked up this guy, one of the uh, Bad Batch figures, uh, Wrecker, um, actually had him uh, for a while, um, but I just kept forgetting he was sitting in a weird spot and never put him in one of the haul videos, so, pretty cool. I still need to finish that series. I've not finished it yet. Um, next up, I got this Gargoyles, Eliza Maza. Um, picked this up. That's actually the same place I picked up uh, the Poison Bite figure. Um, it's okay. It's a cool figure, I guess. I just needed it for the Gargoyles run. Um, didn't realize how many more figures there were on this. They had one of the hardwired Xanatos figures, which is a little bit harder to find. Not expensive, but harder to find. Um, I should have grabbed him while I was there, but I didn't. I ended up grabbing this instead. I didn't have this one, and this one card's in pretty good shape. Uh, this is one of the Fusors Buzzclaw. Um, didn't have him, and this one was carded in pretty decent shape, so I went ahead and grabbed it. So... Do they say what he's actually supposed to be? Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. Part man is part lizard. Not my favorite, but for the price, I uh, lose him wouldn't have been much cheaper. Um, next up, I also got this from there. Uh, this is one of the. Uh, metal Leonardo's. Um, I think I have an extra head for this guy. So I just went ahead and got it. It was relatively cheap, so I just went ahead and grabbed it. Um, then 
need an O-ring for that guy, but he's not new. He came with the um, boat thingy. Um, so I did finally get the top piece of the helmet for my ace. So I just wanted to show that off while I had it. Um, then picked up a complete rock and roll. Got some dirt I need to clean off there. Um, but other than that, he's in pretty good shape. Um, then picked up this guy, uh, Big Boa. He was one of the Cobra trainers, and he's complete. He's got his tube, the punching bag, the stand, and both gloves. So went ahead and grabbed him. And then one of my absolute favorite figures I have found so far that's, aside from the Hydra Viper, that I have not been able to find yet. Uh, that is, these are on, these things are not the prices I paid. These are just cases I had that I put them in. Um, I got one of these um, heat vipers. Look at these little rockets on his legs. Those actually come off. There's six of them. They kind of wrap around. And then he's got this giant gun. Um, or bazooka, missile launcher, whatever it's supposed to be. I don't know why it's got Fang. Maybe that was the name of the missile launcher. Fang in the uh, bazooka there. Um, yeah, I really like this. I really want to find a Hydra Viper. That's like one of my ones I really want right now. Um, and then I got a... Was this version 3, I think? Storm Shadow? Complete? So we got the... Excuse me. We got the call... The bow and arrow, the red backpack, and the red sword. So, really happy to have that. Actually, I like these guys to have because I'm gonna leave these in their, these cases for now to have a better place to put them. I kind of want his accessories on him. And none of these had snap crotches. I checked them all out. Checked out their undercarriages. Um, and then I got a file card for... This is a modern file card for uh, Storm Shadow for the 25th anniversary figure, so... Um, Whoever cut that did a real clean job. I don't know if those come that way or what, but it's real clean. Um, yeah, I'm actually doing some rearranging with my Joes right now. Um, maybe, I'm hoping by the uh, end of the year I'll do another uh, toy room update video. Um, I just recently got rid of... I'm going to say 100 figures, which in my estimation is probably 5% of my collection, maybe, maybe 10, I don't know, I got rid of quite a bit and still have way too much left, um, yeah, anyway, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, I'm going to get this stuff put away, and we'll see you for the next haul.